Hi, uh, my name is Dr. Balvinder Singh. Uh, I'm a research fellow in Department of Neurology at Mayo Clinic, Rochester, Minnesota. The title of our manuscript, which will be getting published in an upcoming issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings is Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease uh, is Associated with Mild Cognitive Impairment, the Mayo Clinic Study of Aging. We conducted a population-based cross-sectional uh, study in which we evaluated 1,927 patients, uh, elderly patients who are between 70 to 89 years of age uh, at October 1st, 2004. These subjects were identified through uh, using Rochester Epidemiology Project, which is a uh, medical record linkage system by which we identified subjects who were in this age group uh, uh, on October 1st, 2004. Each subject was evaluated by, first by a nurse or research coordinator followed by a complete neurological evaluation by a physician or a neurologist and uh, we did a short test mental status and assessed the cognitive status of every uh, subject followed by a comprehensive neuropsychological testing, uh, testing by uh, a psychometrist. So in this study we tried to evaluate whether COPD or the chronic obstructive pulmonary disease has an association with mild cognitive impairment. Uh, we evaluated all these 1927 subjects. Uh, and then we went back in the medical records and we looked whether how many of those had COPD and how many of those did not have COPD. Then we did a logist we used a logistic regression model analysis to identify the association between the two. We found out that as compared to subjects with non-COPD, subjects with COPD had a higher prevalence of mild cognitive impairment. The odds ratio of MCI was higher in subjects with COPD. It was almost twice as compared to subjects uh, as compared to known COPD patients and the effect was similar in both men and women. The odds ratio further increased with the duration of COPD. At the present time we don't have any effective therapy for treatment of dementia or mild cognitive impairment. So to identify the risk factors or prognostic factor for MCI which is the intermediate stage for dementia is very crucial and COPD is one such risk factor. The take home message of this study is that COPD is associated with an increase also of MCI and there is a dose response association with the longer or the higher odds of developing MCI with a longer duration of COPD. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.com. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.